So good. Hey, sorry I'm late. Happy. You look nice. Thank you. You too. Thank you. New dress? Yes, it is. How'd you know? <laughs> what just happened? Planning a trip? Mm hmm. Going to Europe. It's a school trip. Did you get your passport? Peter Parker here to pick up a passport, please. Mini toothpaste? Mm hmm. Pack your suit. I just want to go on my trip with my friends. Europe doesn't really need a friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. You look really pretty. And therefore, I have value. No, no, that's not I'm right. I'm messing with you. <laughs> you look pretty, too. I just want to spend some time with MJ. I think she really likes me, dude. That reminds me when I first fell in love. I had just finished my phone call. So nice to finally meet you, Spider-Man. You're Nick Fury. Put some clothes on. Let's go for a ride. Is he gonna be okay like that? Might want to turn him over so he doesn't swallow his tongue. I think Nick Fury just hijacked our summer vacation. Awesome! You got gifts, Parker. But we have a job to do. Are you going to step up or not? You're all alone. Your friends are in trouble. What are you going to do about it? You don't want any part of this. He's like Iron Man and Thor rolled into one. He's no Spider-Man. What is it with you and Spider-Man? What, he looks out for the neighborhood, has a dope suit, and I really respect him. Sup, dickwad? Engine room secure. Well, that was a bit dark, but if rumors are to be believed, things are about to get a whole lot darker for the MCU's resident spy. On today's IMD Brief, we'll be looking at the likelihood of an R-rated Black Widow film. Shall we play a game? Recent reports suggest the possibility of an R-rated Black Widow movie. While this might seem off-brand for the Marvel Cinematic Universe, Marvel Studios president Kevin Feige and Disney CEO Bob Iger have both gone on the record saying an R-rated MCU film isn't out of the question. This coupled with the fact that Disney is currently in the middle of an acquisition of 20th Century Fox, which has already made three R-rated Marvel films, makes the rumor seem all the more believable. That sounds very peaceful. Of all of the characters currently in the MCU, Black Widow's standalone might require an R rating, as her history is incredibly violent, and given that it has been reported that the film will be a prequel set in the early 2000s, we will likely explore her brutal past. I made a name for myself. I have a very specific skill set. 
In the Marvel Cinematic Universe, Natasha Romanoff was born in Stalingrad in 1984 and was recruited as a child by the KGB to become a spy. She became one of the world's deadliest assassins as a teenager and was given the codename Black Widow for her ruthless efficiency. Nick Fury sent Hawkeye to kill Natasha, but he disobeyed his orders and recommended her for recruitment into S.H.I.E.L.D. instead. We're still friends, right? Marvel's dark espionage film will be directed by Kate Shortland and written by Jack Schaefer. Shortland is tonally perfect for the film, as her previous work includes the shocking thriller Berlin Syndrome and the World War II drama Lore, which explores the dark ideologies of war, something that Black Widow is all too familiar with. Everyone we know is trying to kill us. A comic book arc that will most likely influence the film, as it would fit the R rating perfectly, is 2005's Homecoming by author Richard K. Morgan. This incredibly violent Jason Bourne-esque thriller finds Natasha trailing a string of brutal killings around the world that eventually leads her back to Mother Russia. No official release date has been attached to the film, but it is expected to come out sometime in 2020. I'm in the middle of an interrogation. This moron is giving me everything. You can add the entire MCU to your watch list, and for more Marvel madness, check out IMDb's Avengers 4 fan theories.